Hello and welcome to my review of Jennifer Lopez's Miami Glow. Let me just find it because then I've put it somewhere and I can't find it. That's a great start. Uh, this is um, another request I've had from somebody called Inspiration2191, a Twitter, somebody asked me on Twitter, so this one is for you, whoever you may be. Thanks for requesting it, I'll happily do the review for you. So yeah, let's talk about this one. Um, I would say of all of the glow variations that there are, this one's my personal favourite, and there are quite a few. I always glance up there, I always say that, because my I've, my collection's up there, so I reference kind of sometimes what I'm looking at. Um, yeah, this one, I think, was the second one that came out. There's probably about seven, I think, now. Let me just go glow, glow after dark, love at first glow, LA glow, Miami glow, sunkissed glow, blue glow, that's eight already, and there's now odor glow as well, and then there's my glow, which isn't kind of on the same lines. It's a different bottle shape, but um, this one came out in 2005. Um, I think it was the same year that the Love at First Glow came out. That's the pink one. That's the kind of rosy, fruity floral one. I used to have that as well, but I don't have it anymore. That's really nice actually. I might actually repurchase it. I think it's discontinued. Um, a lot of I keep hearing that these are discontinued, but I still manage to find them, and I still manage to find them at really good prices. So, I guess if you're going to want to get them, then go for it. So it's a floral fruity. Um, uh, I'll tell you what's in it, and then I'll talk about. I'll show you the bottle and talk about it. What I think about it. So the top notes are pink grapefruit, um, passion fruit, coconut water, and black currant. That's coconut water, not coconut. Don't get it twisted. Uh, the the heart notes are cyclamen, heliotrope and orange blossom, three flowers, and then the base notes are the good old combination amber, vanilla, musk. You find that in so many perfumes. It it must just be like a match made in heaven. But it always depends what it's blended with because it can completely change. But perfumers seem to like that combination amber, vanilla, musk. It works. Um, so yeah, here's the box. I've actually got two. I bought a backup of this because I, again, when I hear the word discontinued, alarm bells go off in my head, and I want to just go run out and buy it in case I don't get to smell it again. But I've really enjoyed wearing this in summer months. Um, obviously, you can tell from the packaging it is meant to be for summer, but it doesn't matter. You can wear it whenever you want. Who, who? There's no rules. But um, yeah, here it is. So it's kind of shiny, orangey, Miami-esque sunshine field box it's got a picture of the bottle on the back um, I, I really like it it's very different from what you'd probably expect I was not expecting it to be quite as nice and interesting I, I think it's quite different uh, I'll show you the bottle as with all of her glow, well most of her glow bottles they come with some kind of jewellery some sort of embellishment, something you can take off and wear uh, that's this one here um, the bottle is not completely clear. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's not, it's got some sort of pearlescence to it. The liquid is, I don't know, but if you can see here where the liquid isn't shining, the li the bottle is actually kind of it's almost like petrol-y but not. If that makes sense, it's like a light sheen of e extra shine. It's not just not like normal clear glass. And this here is a bracelet that you can wear. I wouldn't wear it. I don't think it's. I don't like it that much, but. I just keep it on there, and it's got two little flip-flops on it, just to bring home that beachy kind of feel. Uh, the bottles of Glow are always the same shape, they're kind of like a distorted light bulby kind of shape, I think. That's what I kind of think they are. Um, and before I carry on, I'll quickly tell you, I have got um, Glow After Dark and also the original Glow, which I'll review as well at some point uh, along the line. So yeah, I'll spray, I've had it on this hand for a while, but I'll spray it again on this hand. This is my newer bottle, actually. Um, so what I'll say about this is, let me just put it back in the box. Um, okay, so is it tropical? Yes. Is it traditionally coconutty? No. A lot of people and a lot of reviews I've read say, oh, it's really coconutty. I completely disagree with that. Is there an element of coconut? Yes, but it's not you haven't got a coconut as a note, it's coconut water, so it's it's really, it's like a very watery, thin kind of coconut. 
it's not an obvious in your face coconut because coconut can be really really sickly and overpowering if it's if it's a lot you know what I mean um, but what I would say about this mainly is it's so well blended um, even though it's got things like grapefruit in it and passion fruit this to me the main vibe I get from this is like laundry and that might sound weird but it's true it's completely smooth it's so well blended that it, nothing completely jumps out at you at one so my camera cut me off great I ran out of battery this time usually I run out of time because I record in HD and I can only do nine minutes so I'm back again I just quickly gave it a quick charge let me just respray on this hand because it is not fading but it's changing so um, I was saying that this is smooth it has an underlying smoothness to it when you first smell it there is there is a lot of passion fruit but it's not zesty in any way you'd think with grapefruit that it would be pink grapefruit is very sharp isn't it so you think it would be quite sharp and zesty but it but it isn't the vanilla in this perfume doesn't act as vanilla normally does it's not a vanilla -y perfume and it doesn't smell of vanilla but from what I gather the vanilla is what makes this have a smoothness to it uh, the cyclamen is a very clean, clean, fresh flower um, and that is what gives this, what I said before, like a laundry smell. I like it because it smells clean, it smells like you've got really clean clothes on, <coughs> excuse me, and that's why I find it unusual. Miami Glow, I've never been to Miami, although I want to go there, if anyone wants to take me, I'd happily oblige. But yeah, when you see the palm trees and you hear the coconut and you hear the passion fruit, it does have elements of, of that, but the main overall feel to me, it makes me feel very clean, but in a smooth way. It's like fabric conditioner. You know, you pour that really strong liquid into your washing that gives your clothes that kind of soft, clean smell. That's what I get from this, but if it was like a tropical scented washing detergent, sounds really weird. Um, it stays very linear, um, I'm not sure I've said that before, I'm not sure I'm going to cut it off at this point, but it stays linear and what linear means is it doesn't morph very much. The only way it changes is when you first spray it, it is a slightly more fruity and a little bit kind of zesty-ish and effervescent, but it smooths out really, really quickly. Um, and yeah it's really really pleasant and um, it does smell really synthetic it doesn't smell natural you're not you're not gonna get from this an extremely natural fruity smelling perfume um, but I will what I will say in its favor is as with most of uh, Jennifer Lopez's glow perfumes the quality of it I find that this lasts on me particularly really long I wore this out one day in summer and I still smelt it the next day when I woke up and it particularly stays on clothes very long I know some people don't like to spray their clothes but I do because I feel that clothes hold on to the top notes a little bit more so you get kind of every layer at once sometimes on your skin you'll spray a perfume and the top notes are there and then by the time you've come home you've got the base which is how they're supposed to work you get that whole experience of layers but I find that if I spray on my clothes I kind of get to keep the top notes a little bit so it stays on clothes forever and it's just it just as an overall I will say that it lasts on me at least eight hours um, but I'm an I'm a applier I, I will always take this out with me if I'm going out I'll take it I don't care how chunky or big the bottle is I like to have the bottle with me and I always take care of them obviously but yeah it's a very clean smelling tropical perfume that is smooth not clean as in fresh clean as in smooth washing smell so uh, yeah that was my review for the person that asked me on Twitter thanks for watching I'm gonna do more reviews this weekend it's absolutely freezing in London so I don't plan to go anywhere I'm gonna do a few more so I'm sorry for the break in between so frustrating but I'll get there eventually okay so thanks for watching bye bye